Well, this is the moment of truth. This is the time when we find out whether um, growing garlic in pots is a crock of crap. Probably not. Should be fine. But we're all here for the harvest. I have my trusty band of uh, 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 people, Thomas and Ted, who's just buggering off now for the, for the bell. Anyway, we shall see. Let's have a look. And the first, the first one we're going to choose is Avignon, Avignon White. And cut that now. So, looking at these. That's not bad. Um, there's a bit of weed in these. But uh, looking at these bulbs. Is that all of them, Thomas? Yeah, they are. Right, let's get them unpacked. They are all in clumps. So there we are. They've done. Really well. Looks like a bulldog's bollocks. Oh dear. We're in trouble now. What's that one, Thomas? Province White. Province White. Right. Let's get them all inside. That's a good size bulb. Mm -hmm. yeah. they're, they're, they're going the glass house to dry. This is doing a lot better. These, these are much bigger, much bigger bowls here. I would say that was more of a, uh, a boxer's bollocks rather than a bulldog's. <laughs> well, the Provence White was quite successful. But just to run a blind trial, we also bought some ordinary Provence White. Because you have to buy it as a, as a seed bulb, which you then break into cloves. And it was just interesting to see if the Ones the edible, the ones that you buy as edible garlic, do the same as the seed garlic. And so far, I can't see a lot of difference. This is, as I say, this is bought just as ordinary eating garlic. It's not bought as garlic seed. You have to remember this is the north of England, we're getting on towards a thousand feet above sea level. We're getting the hardest of the weather that comes from up that dale. It's not just mutant farmers that appear from up there, it's a horrible wind. And they're put at the bottom of this, uh, this wall and they've been there all winter. So far, I would consider this something of a success. So, I would say that the consensus here with Thomas and Ted is that the non-seed garlic is smaller. So it looks like, from our trial, using seed garlic is essential. I thought it would be interesting to, to try that. Anyway, the next one up, if you two lads could start stripping it, is Chesnock White. 
The Provence white was pretty average, but sorry. The Provence white was excellent. The uh, Avignon white so far was okay. And now we're on the chestnut. Gonna get a crate. Huge. No. I would say Chesnock White. Well, so far we've had uh, Bulldogs Nadgers, we've had Boxers Nadgers, I think they're on Chihuahua Nadgers here. Right. Chesnock White was absolute. It just won't work here. It won't work with us here in the North England. It's just tiny. So we can't use that. But now we're going to try the elephant garlic. Where you go, Ted? Oh, look at that! Definitely, definitely elephantine. Look at the size of that. Oh, I have to get one of them out now. Yeah, I know it's not as big as uh, what you can buy in the shop, but this has just been grown in little one and a half litre pots, half the size of the other ones, and that is an, a lovely bulb, beautiful bulb, you know, considering where we're growing it. I'm quite delighted with that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Even little bulb bills around the outside. This garlic's Carcassonne white, so we're going to take it up now and see what the size of this one is. And it's not very big at all. Compared to the others it's probably the smallest we've had. It's not very big at all. I don't think I'm even going to bother. Um, I don't think I'm even going to bother harvesting that. So that's another one. It's just uh, look, just tiny little clothes. I suppose you could use them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, let's harvest it anyway. Then. This is another Chesnock. That's not one of them. Ah, oh, right. Just try this other size then. This one is Lautrec. I don't think that's gonna that's not gonna do for us. No. Yeah. Small again, isn't it? Mm-hmm, yeah, it's a lot smaller. Okay, so we Small. can't do the low trek. We can't do the uh, what was that one? Carcassoni Carcassi white. Carcassoni white. <coughs> we can't do Chesnock white. So there's three we can't do, but having said that you know this is very very difficult conditions up here and there are some that are proving to be really really effective and uh, let's let's just have a look at the last one in a minute you can turn that bugger off now And 
yes. Not too bad actually. No. Quite a good size pool. Look at that. That is excellent. Look at yeah. that. Where's Thomas gone? Did he bug it off to get the bell or something? I never heard. Did you hear the bell? Oh. You're one of them bloody customers. This is the last garlic we're doing and this is called Vidal or White. See the bulbs aren't looking too small to start with. So if you look there, they're actually quite a good sized bulb here. Look at that. That's, uh, that's not bad at all. Look, that's three little beauties there. Now that's that's as big if not bigger than what you would buy in a supermarket. It's also a sort of like a main variety of garlic, which I'm sure won't just make you stink. It's probably got very subtle flavours to it, which that's we will find out in the winter when we start cooking with it. So what do we think then, Thomas? Well, it looks like the elephant garlic probably thrived the best and grown largest, but... The which one? Elephant garlic. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Milder taste, apparently. Mm. What do you think, Ted? Well, the, the ones that had gone to seed, they hadn't done very well at all. The, the bulbs were all small on those. Yeah. So, so I, I think... Yeah, I think seeding is just put the energy into the seed, but I think... If we, if we look at it, the elephant garlic has been good. Uh, down through these. The, whatever it is, the albigensis garlic is very good. Provence white, there's some reasonable bulbs on that. Usable, it's all usable. Provence white, I mean look at that, that's nice bulge. Provence white non-seed. And that last one that we were just doing here, what is it, Ted? Vileado. Vileado, Vileado white. Yeah. That's pretty good as well. So, wait right there. So can we have a shot of the harvesting team, please? Can we have a long shot? It makes us all look particularly handsome. We're going to pause. Are you dogs interested or not? I'm pausing. Nah. I don't reckon they're that interested. No.